free, he was willing to come and volunteer to be a part of the group that went out to heal the sick and cast out devils. He was willing to be a part of all of this, but somehow there was a need inside of him, and you've got to acknowledge your need. Of all the things that have been a temptation to Christians, the things that are the biggest temptation to us are the things that a sinner would say, man, if you don't want it, I do. You might not want to go out with her, but man, I would. You're crazy, man. Why don't you go out with him? You're crazy, woman. Hey, don't pass it up. We see things too often, we human beings, even in the church, through the eyes of our brothers and sisters who don't know God, and the ones around about us say, man, you're crazy. But if you're going to come to Christ, you've got to be a fool for Christ's sake. You got to pass up something that your brother wouldn't pass up. You got to pass up something that your sister wouldn't pass up. You got to pass up something that other people wouldn't pass up. They'd say, hey, hand it to me. And you've got to cast it down and say, nearer my God to thee. I'm